What are you guys doing? Oh, hi, Shadow. We're just getting ready to start a new quest in Dungeons and Dragons. More context is required. It's a game! Not just any game. It's the ultimate fantasy adventure where your choices affect the story. No two campaigns are alike, because the possibilities are endless. You want to play with us? I don't typically play games, but the ultimate anything I have to try at least once. What about the ultimate homicide? Pulled that one off yet? That one's a work in progress. <laughs> uh, right. Wait, you need a character before you can play. I'll play as myself. Let's go. Well, hold on. Silver's right. You need a character. If you play as yourself, you'd be way too OP. What are your characters? I'm a chiefling named Rose of Eternal Spring. I'm a barbaric druid with a proficiency in charming others. But underneath my sweet demeanor, I deal heavy damage with my enchanted hammer. I see. I'm a rogue wood elf named Blitz. By dashing and sticking to the shadows, I surprise my opponents with lightning-fast slashes and blasts thanks to my boots of speed. Uh-huh. I'm the Wandering Barbarian, the Closed Fist Titan. My warrior clan of Dwegars was wiped out by unknown entities of dark magic, and so I've embarked on a pilgrimage to seek revenge. I forgot you were even here. And I... Let me guess. You're a scholarly satyr named Nightlight, and you became a wood mage to unlock the secrets of traveling through space and time to be reunited with your lover. Um... Actually, yeah. And they have the audacity to say I can't play as myself. And you, what is your character? Oh, no, no, I'm not a player for this campaign. I am the Dungeon Master. I create your experience as I guide you through this mystical world and the adventures within. Fine. Make a character for me. Okay, uh, let's see. You could be Warforged. Yeah! An unpredictable paladin. Your name is 13, because you are 13 of your kind, but your creator pitted you against your breath and determined the strongest. And you were victorious. Any quirks I should know about? Let's give your proficiency in battle axes. Your skill sets will be average since you're starting at level 1, but your strength is still pretty decent. Oh, and you want basic heroic equipment to start. The others have cool, unique items they have found in their quest. But you'll find something of your own soon enough. Very well. Let us begin. I'm so excited. I've been crafting this campaign for months. Down to the smallest detail. You got this, buddy. Let's do it to it. Ahem. <clears throat> Our story begins in the shoddy tavern. rain battered travelers rest as tightly packed tables. A fierce storm rages outside. Turning would be adventures off the small rocky path that leads up a tall craggy mountain. This climb would be no challenge for me, but the rest of my party is less fortunate. Your party sits in a dimly lit dining area, sipping mugs of sour ale and nibbling on stale pieces of bread. Hardly a hearty meal, but we'll take what we can get. It's been days since we last ate. I look around. I'm certain there's somebody watching us, because that's what I would do. Roll for perception. Five, not high enough. You shift in your seat to look all around you. A few head turns as you shuffle loudly in place, but no one seems to have their attention fixed on you. I'm confused. What are we supposed to do? Pretty much whatever you want. You'll be reacting to events as they unfold, but there are plenty of ways to change up the order or initiate new conflict. I see. I will wait patiently and enjoy my can Warforged drink ale. Well, it's kind of a robot android, so probably not. I wait patiently and enjoy nothing. I cast Warm Enchantment to dry up the party. Your party regards you gratefully. As you begin to dry, an elderly man hobbles over to your table. He extends a gnarled, lettering hand in greeting. Why, hello, good sir. What brings you to these parts? It's rather dangerous this far north. Oh, you need not worry yourselves over an old crone like me. I kill him. 
What? I kill him with my axe. Are you serious? You're going to kill the first NPC you meet? You said we could do whatever we want. Uh, why don't you roll for wisdom first? Seventeen. Okay. You notice a glint of acute purpose in the man's eyes. He is more important than he lets on. I kill him. Would anyone else like to do something? Like what? To stop him? I have a scroll of immobilization, but I was saving it to use on Blitz so he couldn't run away during our wedding! <sighs> I use the scroll of immobilization on 13. Crit failed. The scroll disintegrates in your hands as it backfires and locks you in place. What?! I dash over and grab 13 to keep him from swinging his axe. Crit failed? Uh, you, uh, you tripped over your untied shoelaces and fall on your face. Oof. Bummer. I'm starting to like this game. I cast Teleport to move the old man to safety. Crit failed. Your staff disappears from your hands, leaving you defenseless. <laughs> you guys suck! Check this out. I sock 13 in the face. Crit failed. You miss and swing all the way around, clubbing yourself on the head for five damage. Way, way to go, go Nux! Aw, oh, come on! You guys didn't get him either. Now can I kill the old man? Just roll the die, please. Nat 20. With a single blow, the old man falls over, dead. Bam! The ultimate homicide. Well, congratulations, 13. You just killed the quest giver. Good game, guys. Well, I had fun. Let's do this again sometime. Our characters are getting married? Whoops! You weren't supposed to know about that! <laughs>